So this is Arts Alive, I'm Linda Philippi, and my honored guests today are Adele O'Neill and James Nelson, two of the movers and shakers from the Art Harvest Studio Tour. So welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I think today what we can do is we've, we've talked to some of the artists, we've spoken with many, many people over the years, but I don't think we've ever done a deep dive into the nuts and bolts, a peek behind the scenes, as it were, of how this whole thing comes together. So, James, would we like to start with you as impresario of this affair? <laughs> well, it's um, my, my side of this uh, involvement, this is my sixth year, it has a lot to do with the finance side. Ooh la la. Because, because this does not happen unless we have the funds because to make it happen. Money talks. Money talks, that's right. So, um, uh, a lot of people don't understand our sources, but we have three primary sources. One are the fees artists pay to be in the tour. And that, that's because we do all of the promotion for them and we print the catalogs and, and so we spend that money on those kind of materials. The second is fundraising and we have um, over 60 individuals and businesses mm -hmm. that support us with um, donations. This year we actually have four muses. Ooh. The Muse level is $1,500. Wow. So we've never had that much success mm. with that level and we have six of our heroes, and that's a thousand dollars. Wow, nice! So between about uh, fifteen people, half of the fundraising is taken care of. Wow! Uh, the rest of it comes from donations um, uh, from twenty-five dollars on up, and so that's essential. And then our third source is our button sales. Mm -hmm. And last year we broke our record. We, we finally sold more than a thousand buttons. Wow, that's and incredible! And this year we're aiming for more, of course, because the more buttons we sell. The bigger the better. The more people that are on the road visiting artists. Right, and we have 52 artists. 54, actually. 54 artists, That's right. okay. The, the biggest year we've ever had. Wow. So there's uh, a lot of change this year, and we hope it's all for the better. We can never guarantee how many people are going to be out there, and we also can never guarantee, as all the artists know, is how much money they're willing to spend. Mm -hmm. But uh, many artists say the money is not just what it's about. Isn't that right, Adele? Yeah. Well, they have to say that, don't they, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they actually don't. No, have to I'm say joking. It. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's it's rewarding, of course. Yeah. yeah. No, we we really believe that because it is it is really nice when people come to the studio, and I mean I can only speak for myself, mm -hmm. but they come to my studio and they look at things and they talk about special things that they have. Could you make me a necklace out of this or, mm -hmm. or whatever? So they always ask lots of questions as I'm working, and I have this little tiny anvil that I make my, my jewelry on, and mm -hmm. the, they always chuckle about that. Really, you make jewelry on that little tiny anvil? <laughs> but it, yeah, it, it, it is. It works for really you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a beautiful necklace that you're wearing. Oh, thank you. And that's probably one that will be featured on the tour. Or maybe it's not. It's actually mine. Oh, <laughs> oh! You didn't wear a, didn't a, a wear, sellable yes, piece of art. Oh. Right. <laughs> but could you make one similar if somebody I fell in love with similar, it? Okay, okay, yes. okay. It's like, oh, we'll just put you in the middle of the room and start taking bids. <laughs> How much will you give me for this fabulous <laughs> right. Perfect. So, so for you now, what is your role in the tour this year beyond artist? Well, I'm the chair of the committee. Okay. And I just kind of help coordinate things with, with James. James does all the work, though. No, <laughs> no, no, I don't. And we, <laughs> but I do a lot of proofreading. I help with organizing things, and it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. and, and how many years have you been on the tour? I think this is my sixth yes, year right. also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so yeah. you, you yeah. two we came on about the same, same time. time. Yes. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. so... What, what else is on the list well, of things um, we should know? Well, we have 10 locations that are going to be selling the catalogs this okay. year. We've never had that many. And uh, there's five in Newburgh and four in McMinnville and one in Amity. And this year, uh, we decided we'd make uh, a bigger splash about where you can buy a catalog. Mm -hmm. So we have these um, A-frames here mm -hmm. behind me. And um, 
they are going to be outside each location that sells the catalog and the buttons. Do you know those locations to talk about right now, or do you not want to? No, we know where all of them are. Okay. The, the same ones that we usually have in McMinnville. Right. Um, uh, you, 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 the ones in Newburgh are? The ones in Newburgh are Anna Cara Sellers, I hope I'm saying that right, Art Elements Gallery, the Shehalem Valley Chamber of Commerce, the Shehalem Cultural Center, and the Artisanal Wine Cellars. Okay, so great. So those are all in Newburgh. Okay. And then we have one in Amity, Earth and Wood. Oh, cool. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. And then the ones in McMinnville, Kearns Gallery, the Land and Sea Gallery, the Mary Artist, and Pacific Frame and mm. Gallery. Perfect. So yeah. 10. Okay. Yeah. That's wonderful. And we've been really pushing this year, pushing the artists and, and the donors to get our information because we're coming out two weeks earlier with our catalogs. That's wonderful. So that's one reason why we're very excited about these locations because now they're going to have um, almost four weeks to promote the tour and to sell catalogs and um, get the excitement going. So let me ask you, is it is it there early because you're more efficient this year or because you got the money quicker? It's, um, <laughs> no, it's... Because I know these are expensive. Right. but. We don't have to pay that bill till they get printed. Oh, okay. Okay. So primarily, it's been um, working with the committee and um, other people who are part of designing the catalog mm -hmm. and just pushing as much as we could so we could get these out sooner. Because the sooner people can get these, the sooner they can make their plans. And another exciting thing is we mail 3,500 of these to the people who have signed up when they go on the tour. And so they get one of these in the mail so they can plan where they want to go on the tour and um, we think that's one reason we had more visitors last year. I, I always get one. Yes, right. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean these are works of art in and of themselves. They're absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So well produced, mm -hmm. right? Well the advantage of a catalog is that they last longer than the tour. Isn't that right? Ooh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Well and the exhibits that we have ahead of time really give the, the public an idea of what each artist mm -hmm. is making. Mm -hmm. So they can come to that too. They can look at the catalog, but they can also see it in person and decide, oh, I want to go see this artist, or I want to go see this artist. Yeah. So so it's, and you want to talk good. about the exhibits? Yeah. Okay. We do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. we do. The, the biggest one is going to be right across the street up here at the Rose of Third Street, the old Elks building. Oh, okay. Um, uh, in the ballroom. For the entire month of September, we have two works of art by each artist. And that we're going to have the catalogs for sale as well. And we're going to be open every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So the general public that's in town can come and see this amazing work and also decide which artist they might want to visit. I, th I think that you should be a little bit more specific because a lot of people, when they hear the old Elks building, yeah. they think of the one that's now you know, that's right across from well, McMinimins. It's the next door to the Mac Theater. There we go. Okay. And it's upstairs. upstairs right. But we do have a lift, so oh. we can help people if they would like to use okay. the lift to get okay. up there. Okay, great. And it's going to be staffed by volunteers so they can visit with artists. Mm -hmm. And um, we're really excited about this, mm -hmm. and, this and, show. And tell me those dates again for that one. That one is going to be all of September. Okay. September 1 through the end of September. Mm hmm and the second show for the Newburgh artists mm -hmm. is going to be um, at the Shehalem uh, Chamber. Oh, the Chamber. And that's where it was last year. This year there'll be 21 artists in there. Wow. And all of the Chamber events that occur. Oh, yeah, that's uh, really good. The, sure. They come in there, so they get a lot of exposure that way. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is at the New Land and Sea Gallery. Um, uh, they opened a second location in Amity. <gasps> Oh, and he's uh, um, uh, Andy Kerr is, uh, is the mm -hmm. owner uh, and uh, major artist of the Land and Sea Gallery, and he opened that up for the Amity artists. All eleven of them get to show their work. For I a think month. that's wonderful. So we've got regional yeah. exhibits, <coughs> right, um, where people can see the work, and um, but all of this is done by with our volunteer staff. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't happen without mm -hmm. um, them. That's for sure. I mean, when I think about the way that this tour has grown over the course of what 30 years, 30 years. I mean it's just incredible yeah. really honestly just incredible yeah it started with just mm -hmm. uh, about I think it was eight or ten artists started this 30 years ago and we're really excited about next year. <laughs> it seems so funny to say 30 years. I God. know, because you remember that. <laughs> you, were just, you were just in elementary school. I was barely out of diapers. 
My kids were probably graduating from high school or something, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yes, it's grown a lot, and we have uh, uh, we have many artists that have been in more than 15 years yeah. out of that 30. So we're very proud of that. Next year, we're going to do a book. Mm -hmm. We're, are we? We are going to do a Ooh. book. We've decided we're going to do a kind of a legacy or commemorative book uh, of 30 years of artists. I think that's and wonderful. Every artist that's ever been in the tour will be listed in the book. Wow, with a, like a, a, an image or a piece of their yeah, art. Or we're going to do like. our best because it's mm -hmm. 200 over 250. But we're going to do our best to get an image. For many of them, we have lost track of them, but we do have a catalog for every year. So oh, we'll, right. So okay. we'll get the image from the catalogs. Some were only in one year. Uh, but we do have several that have been in more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. So they get a, kind of a special acknowledgement mm -hmm. for being with us that long. But Survivors Club or Survivors something. Survivors Club. Right. We're going to keep the price <laughs> very low. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to sell the book and the button together. Oh, I see. We okay. hope a lot of people will do that. Yeah. And uh, if we can do that, we can keep the book price down. Well, and maybe we can have like a, a fun party, like a book signing party. We've talked about a book signing yeah, launch think, in party mm -hmm. over at the Cultural Center. I think we definitely need a big party. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I know how you love parties. Um, <laughs> I've been to a few. Uh, at the Cultural Center, um, they've already said that we could do a um, sort of a fancy hors d'oeuvre <gasps> wine yes. uh, sort of a launch party. Yes. Because next year, this All Artists exhibit is we'll going be to there. be at the Cultural Center. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So that's where we're, we'd like to sort of launch the book. Well, that was it's the home of the exhibit for many years. Yes, it was. Yeah. But they alternate years now with an mm -hmm. all Yamhill artist show. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. So yeah. then that means every other year we need to find another place. Okay. And this year we're going to be upstairs there. Okay. So uh, we're really excited about that. That's great. So what else do we need to know about this? And now, uh, one of the things I always remember from years past is, you know, talking to the artists and they said, oh, you know, I'm on the sign committee, which means that somebody's got to go out there and literally put signs up all over Yamhill County, of this way and this way and this way, and that's always yeah. a big job. Yeah, each artist gets uh, small, medium, or large signs mm -hmm. to help locate where they're going. Mm -hmm. But this year, we are putting our banners we have worked with the city of Amity, and we have four banners that are going up on their ba banner poles. Oh, great. And this year, uh, we also worked with the city of Newburgh, mm -hmm. and we have five banners that are going up. Wow. And then in McMinnville, we have our the usual large one we have that goes across the street mm -hmm. that we've been using. I love it. So uh, it would be hard to drive around Yamhill and not run into an art harvest sign somewhere. Well, especially because they really are designed to catch the eye. They're, that's right. they're big and bold and yellow and red and you really can't miss them. No, can't. Yeah. That's the whole goal. Right. That's uh -huh. right. And nothing subtle. <laughs> nothing yeah. artsy. Okay. It's just like no, it's when, for when, hair. When you're advertising, subtlety doesn't No, it doesn't. It's no. not going to work. Exactly right. So we're, we're very excited. The 12 new artists yeah. this year. Um, we're very excited for them. They're um, anxious and, and getting ready for the tour. We've had three meetings. Mm -hmm. And at, at the meetings, what, what, remind me what we do at the meetings. Well, we just all talk about our artwork. We introduce ourselves so that we make sure that, because, you know, you can't go to the other artist studios. Right. This is the one time at a meeting that we can actually talk to each other and see what kind of art they do and, and all of that. So it, it's, really, it's really good. Mm -hmm. And we give them tips on, you know, how to display and and how to price your materials. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things for the new artists in the tour that are really helpful. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's one thing to say, oh, you know, yeah, James Sweet talked me into this tour, That's and right. it's great, and, you know, I was <laughs> juried in, and my work is fabulous, and now what? That's so right. Right. so that I'm really glad that you two are there and, you know, providing the leadership that you are, and I really want to thank you for coming on the show mm -hmm. today. and and letting us all have a little uh, glimpse of behind the scenes. And we'll be seeing you around the yeah, tour, won't we? Yes, you, you will. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. How'd we do it?